दर्शना हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे Welcome to Bodhi Star Morning Bhagavatam class. This morning we continue with Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 1, Chapter 15, Verse 44. And the chapter, as we know, is entitled The Pandavas Retire Timely. We are pretty close, I would say, about six, seven verses away from the part where we all are eager to know 
how do the Pandavas retire timely? So without further delay, the class will be given by His Grace Brexit Prabhu from Iskand Harrisburg, and it's all yours, Hari Bol. Jaya Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Jaya Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Jaya Uki Janavallava Irivada Dadi Jaya Uki Janavallava Ivada Dari Yashoda Nandana Radhidhana Randana Yashoda Nandana Radhidhana Randana Yamuna Sira Vanachari Yamuna Sira Vanachari Jayaratha Madhava Kunja Vihari Jaya Radha Madhava Kunja Vihari Jaya Rupi Jana Vallabha Girivada Dhari Jaya Rupi Jana Vallabha Girivada Dhari Vishuddha Nandana Vajajana Ranjana, Vishuddha Nandana, Vajajana Ranjana, Yamuna Thira Vanachari, Yamuna Thira Vanachari, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Jaya Tha, Jaya Radha, Damodara Radha, Damodara Tiyadi, Jaya Nitai Gura Chandra, Nitai Gura Chandra, Gura Hari Jaya, Jagana Jaya, Jagana Jaya, Bala Deva Jaya, Tubada Jaya, Gura Nitai Jaya, Guranita Jaya, Guranita Jaya, Guranita Jaya, Prabhu Pada, Prabhu Pada, Prabhu Pada Sila, Prabhu Pada, Guru Dev, Guru Dev, Guru Dev, Jaya Jaya, Guru Dev, Nitai Gora Hari Bo, Hari Bo, Hari Bo, Nittai Gura Hari Bo. Jaya Om Vishnupad Paramahansa Trivaj Kachaja Sto Tera Sathya Sri Sri Maharaj Divine Grace. Eshi Bhakti Viranta Swami Shri Bhagavad Ki Jai. Jaya Om Vishnupad Paramahansa Trivaj Kachaja Sto Tera Sathya Sri Sri Maharaj Divine Grace. Shila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Maharaj Bhagavad Ki Jai. Ananta Guti Vaishnava Vindi Ki Jai, Nama Chaj Shri Haidas Thakur Ki Jai, Iskam Founder Chaj Shri Bhagupad Ki Jai, Prahim Seika Ho Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Siddhvaita Gadar Hachi Vasari Gaur Bhakta Vindi Ki Jai, Shri Shri Radha Krishna Gupa Gopirat Sham Kun, Radha Kun Giri Gopiran Ki Jai, Vrindavan Dham Ki Jai, Mathura Dham Ki Jai, Navadri Dham Ki Jai, Mahapur Dham Ki Jai, Jagannath Puri Dham Ki Jai, Ganga Mahi Ki Jai, Jamuna Mahi Ki Jai, Tulsi Devi Ki Jai, Bhakti Devi Ki Jai, Hare Krishna Mahamantra Ki Jai, Samaveda Bhakta Vindu Ki Jai, Nitai Gora Pramanandi, Hare Hare. All glories to the assembled devotees, Hare Krishna. All glories to the assembled devotees, Hare Krishna. 
All glories to the assembled devotees. Hare Krishna. All glories, all glory to the glorious field of Sri Sri Guru and Guru Nanda. Krishna. Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Krishna Yaditu. Srimati Bhakti Tere Swami Tinami. Namaste Krishna Vidaya Babu Parasita Pani Sri Guru Karma Shakti. Narayana Namaskritya Narocheva Narotamam. Devim Saraswati Vyasam Jito Jayam Udhirayat. Nasta Praiswa Bhadrisu. Nityam Bhagavati Sivaya, Bhavatu Tamastuke, Bhakti Rabhavati Naisiki, Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya, Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya, Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya. Hare Krishna, good morning, dear devotees. Bhavatam's verse today is Canto 1, status quo. Chapter 15, Pandavas Retired Timely, Text 44. Udichem Pabibishasham Gata Purva Mahatma B. Vidi Vama Param Vyayan Nava Teta Yato Gata Udichem Pabibishasham Gata Purva Mahatma B. Vidi Vama Param Jayan Navate Tayato Gata Udichem Pavivesha Sham Gata Purva Mahatma B. Vidi Vama Param Jayan Navate Tayato Gata Re Krishna Udichem Pavivesha Sham Gata Purva Mahatma B. Ridi Brahma Param Dhyayan Navarte Tayato Gata Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Anyone else? Okay, word for word. Udichem, the northern side. Pravishesha Asam, those who wanted to enter there. Gata Purvam. The path accepted by his forefathers, Mahatma Bi, by the broad-minded, greedy within the heart, Brahma, the supreme, Haram, Godhead, Yayan, constantly thinking of, Na Avatita, past his days, Yata, wherever, Gata, went. Translation by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami, Sita Prabhupada. He then started towards the north, treading the path accepted by his forefathers and great men to devote himself completely to the thought of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And he lived in that way wherever he went. Purport by Sita Prabhupada. It is understood from this verse that Maharaj Yudhishthira followed in the footsteps of his forefathers and the great devotees of the Lord. We have discussed many times before that the system of Anashram Dharma as it was strictly followed by the inhabitants of the world, specifically by those who have inhabited the Arya Bharata province of the world, emphasizes the importance of leaving all household connections at a certain stage of life. The training and education was so imparted, and thus a respectable person like Maharaj Yudhishthira had to leave all family connection for self-realization and going back to Godhead. No king or respectable gentleman would continue family life to the end because that was considered suicidal and against the interest of the perfection of human life. In order to be free from all family encumbrances and devote oneself 10% in the devotional service of Lord Krishna. This system is always recommended for everyone because it is the path of authority. The Lord instructs in the Bhagavad Gita, chapter 18, text 62, that one must become a devotee of the Lord at least at the last stage of one's life. A sincere soul of the Lord, like Maharaj Yudhishthira, must abide by this instruction of the Lord for his own interests. The specific words, Brahma Param indicate that indicate Lord Sri Krishna. This is corroborated in the Bhagavad Gita, chapter 10, text 13, by Arjun, 
with reference to great authorities like Asita, Devan, Narad, and Vyas. Thus, Maharaj Yudhisthira, while leaving home for the north, constantly remembered Lord Krishna within himself, following in the footsteps of his forefathers, as well as the great devotees of all times. Oma Gyanati Mirandasya, Gyana Gyanashalakaya, Chakshu Ombalitam Gyena, Tasmai Sri Guru Venamaha. Sri Chaitanya Manovistam, Stapitam Yena Bhutale, Swayam Rupa Kada Mayam Tadati Swam Parantikam. One day, Ham Sri Guru Sri Yutapa, the Kamalam Sri Guru Vaisnavam Shacha. Sri Rupa Sagajatam, Sahagana, Ragunatam, Vitam Tam Sajiva. Sa Advitam, Savadutam, Parjana Saitam, Krishna Chaitanya Devam. Sri Radha Krishna Pada, Sahagana Larita, Sri Vishakam Vitam Shacha. He Krishna Krishna Sindhu Dinabandu Jagatpati Opesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostite Dr. Kanchana Gorangi Radhi Vrindavaneshwari Vishabhan Sute Devi Paramami Hari Priya Pancha Kalpat Rubescha Kripa Sunibya Eva Chapati Tanam Pavani Bhu Vaishnavi Bhu Namonama Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Pavani Chanandas Advaita Gadara Shivasa Adhikora Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Nama Om Vishnu Pranaya, Krishna Prishnaya, Bhutale, Srimati Bhaktivedanta, Swami Nityamani. Namaste, Saraswati Devi, Gauravani, Pacharani, Nirvishesha, Sunyavadi, Paschatyani, Shatarani, Namo Mahavadanyaya, Krishna Prima Padayati, Krishnaya, Krishna Chaitanya, Namni Gurat, Sri Ramana. Ananda Lidamaya Vigrahaya, Himadi Divichal Shunarai, Tasmi Mahaprema Raspadaya, Chitani Chandraya, Namo Namaste, Chitani Chandraya, Namo Namaste, Chitani Chandraya, Namo Namaste, Chitani Chandraya, Namo Namaste. Hare Krishna. So the translation again, he started towards the north, treading the path achieved by his four fathers and great men to devote himself completely to the thought of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And he lived in that way wherever he went. So we're talking about Maharaj Yudhisthira wrapping up his lifetime on the earth based on religious principles, pure devotion to the Lord, being very tolerant despite the situations that happened with the Pandavas, encouraging his brothers to follow the path of righteousness, encouraging his brothers to even subdue anger because they had justified, their ang anger was actually justified anger, but even that, he said, be tolerant. Reminds me of what Lord Chaitanya had said to us. He said, Nishishastaka Trinada Pishuni Chena, Tarori Vasahishnuna, Omani Namana Dena, Ketaniya Sadahari. In that mood of tolerance, in that mood of obedience, in that mood of humility, then we can chant the holy name of the Lord constantly. And the effect of chanting the holy name of the Lord constantly is service and remembrance of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Maharaj Yudhisthira, as he says here, he was always dedicated mentally to the Supreme Personality of Godhead, thought of him at the time he left the administration <clears throat> left it to his grandson, Bharat Prakshit, or well, say grand uh, nephew, Bharat Prakshit. Then he started towards the north, as it says here, and then he lived everywhere he went, always completely immersed in the thought of Sri Krishna. The lesson for us is wherever we go and whatever we do, 
we should always be thinking about the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And that thought will make it possible for us when it comes time to leave the body, that would be the dominant thought in our mind. Therefore, it would not be difficult to think about the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So let Janamal Swami, I think it was yesterday or a couple of days ago, saying the same thing. You gotta keep your mind on Krishna. If you have a mind doing other things, then it's possible that when it comes time to leave the body, we will not think of Krishna. And if we don't, then that's a problem because then that means we cannot see Krishna after leaving the body. And the great thing about hearing it's also associating with the bodies because when times come and Maya begins to step in, because Maya is always looking for a place to try to railroad our devotional life, uh, and give some problems, malnourishment to our devotional creeper. But when the bodies are around, Krishna always arranges through hearing and also through those who are close to us who are the bodies to tell us where we're going wrong or warn us about some things we have to be careful of so that we can stay the course. We can stay the course and therefore be able to be successful after this life. It is quite important for all of us, myself very much included, this is for my own purification, the way Maharaj Dishthir left his, um, led his life and then now he is moving leaving everything and going on to the last stage of his life where he's completely dedicated to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. In the purpose, Sri Prabhupada says, Maharaj this year followed the footsteps of his forefathers. Mm -hmm. That time people were living under the system of an ashram, mm -hmm. Brahman, Shatriya, Vaishas, Shudras, Brahmachari, Vihasta, Vanapras, and Sanyas. <clears throat> the Vanasam down system is not effective these days. In um, Iskan, the ashram part is being left on, which is where we have Brahmacharis, we have Vihastas, we have Vanapras, and we have Sanyasis. So the ashram part is definitely being honored, and that is the spiritual part. The societal part arrangement would actually bring very, very good harmony if the king or whoever is ruler in the country lets people live in that way. But now, good knowledge has disappeared from people. It is there, but people don't take to it. And therefore, there are complications that come all of the time and that's why the news is filled with so many complications things going wrong wrong and you wonder what in the world is going on in this in this country and other parts of the world but when you turn your back mm, on krishna that's what happens and so we as devotees should try to help save mankind in our own little way, by book distribution, by preaching, by living an exemplary life so that people can all see that we are at the very least in the mode of goodness. And they will see that good people, hmm, the good people will be able to notice that and will congregate around us, start relationships. And from, from that, we'll be able to preach and bring them into Krishna consciousness, which is very much needed. Now, Sri Prabhupada also says, um, those who were following the Vanashram Dham, uh, especially, and he specified those who live in the Aryavata province of the world. So what's Aryavata province of the world? So I um, looked it up, and the Aryavata province of the world is between the Himalaya mountains and the Vindhya hills. So the Himalaya mountains are there, Mount Everest is the biggest one there. And um, between there is a tract of land, there's also Vindhya hills, which is another set 
um, of hills. And between that um, is that tract of land and the people who were there were quite spiritual living this Van Ashram down at the time strictly. Um, so that's why Sri Prabhupada mentioned uh, specifically that. And they know that when it comes to uh, finishing the hasta life, that they leave household connections and then they in, you know, devote their lives fully to Krishna consciousness. And by that way, it means sometimes they leave, not sometimes actually, they do leave home to do that. Now, things have changed quite a bit in Kali Yuga, and we don't, boys are not expected to leave and go to the Himalayan mountains to meditate and devote life 100% to um, Krishna consciousness. That would be, if we were like that, we would be called Bhajanandis. Having a Bhajan sitting in one place and meditating on the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Iskan is a Gostanandi type of society. In Gostanandi, people do travel to different places and spread Krishna consciousness around the world. That's what Lord Chaitanya wanted. So we are going by the Gostanandi way of living and not Bhajanandi. Now, still, there's some things to, as it knows, Sri Prabhupada made all kinds of exceptions to make it possible for us to stay in Krishna consciousness and not give up. One is the chanting of 64 rounds, which he brought down to 16 rounds. It's also mentioned that, yes, after Gahasa is Banapras, the children are older and they will probably leave the house, depending on the uh, culture. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they stay, sometimes depending on the culture, they may leave the house and have their own place. Now, um, sannyas is not mm, imposed on anyone. You certainly can live with your spouse in Krishna consciousness. Mm. So the bodies are definitely encouraged to get to the Banaprast stage after they get older. Mm. And from that Banapra stage, when you don't have much uh, child responsibility like a Grihasta, then one can devote more life, more attention mm, to Krishna consciousness. That Sri Prabhupada encouraged. Mm -hmm. So that is the situation for ISKCON members. And as much electronic whatever that is put out in the world, they can take advantage of it mm -hmm. and spread Krishna consciousness that way. Reminds me of the um, um, Abhadu Brahman and the 24 Gurus, mm -hmm. which in the Srimad Bhavatam, I think it's the 11th canto. Chapters eight and nine talks about that. One of them is so the Abhadu Brahman was reminded of the snake. Mm -hmm. And the lesson he learned was that the snake does not find a home for himself. The snake lives in a hole. But the snake does not dig the hole. It is a rat or the mouse that digs the hole, intending to stay in it. But the rat or mouse is also a meal for the snake, and the rat knows that. And therefore, when he digs the hole, he digs the hole on one side, and he also makes another um, entrance or exit on the other side. So it's two holes, and they meet, and then he lives down that way, mm -hmm. protecting himself from the elements and cold and all of that. But when the snake comes in, he comes in on one side, the rat and the mouse sees the snake coming on one side, and it runs out on the other side, and the snake takes the place and lives there. So, Sri Prabhupada put this analogy out that there are people who go to work every day coming up with new electronic devices and things that, you know, uh, are meant to, they tell us that it would improve our lives. It doesn't really, but... Uh, there are some things that we're able to do because of electronics. And so Sri Prabhupada just said, 
Let them do, we'll take them, and then we'll use them. We'll use them for Krishna. So in our lives, it's that way. We cannot fight the new things that people come up with that are put on the market. That's just going to keep changing because there's hundreds of different ways to you know, put uh, different parts of electronics together and come up with some gadget to do some particular function. The goal is to just take it and use it in Krishna's service. Like that. And that way, after all, the society is to expand and preach Krishna consciousness in every town and village. Therefore, if electronics makes it possible, so much the better. We can travel there, but in some other instances too, take advantage of what's available and spread Krishna consciousness that way. Hmm? So, no king or respectable gentleman will continue family life to the end. So we've already talked about it, that at least the person should get to the Vanapra stage. Vanapra stage where the, the two spouses are together and they devote their life fully to Krishna consciousness when they retire, like that. So another point too that Sri Prabhupada was stressing is that the Lord instructs in Bhagavad Gita, one must become a devotee of a Lord at least at the last stage of one's life. So it still connects to what we we're talking about. 1862 is what Sri Prabhupada quoted. And the text itself is Tam Eva Param Shantim Stanam Papyasi Sashpatam. O Shayana Bharata. Surrender to him utterly. By his grace, you will attain transcendental peace and the supreme and eternal abode. And in a section of the purpose, Papa says that every living entity should surrender to the supreme personality of Godhead. That the Lord is situated in everyone's heart as Paramatma. It's all pervading in that way. But when we surrender, what happens is that we get relieved from all kinds of miseries of this material existence. Now, it does not mean that the physical body won't go through some changes. Hmm? This physical body is designed to, as you know, as a baby, grow, hmm? and be there for a while as a grown up. And then some, depending on the ashram, especially the Hasta ashram, you may you know, have children. But then after a while, the body then starts to go the other way. It starts to break down. So there will some there will be some challenges. Krishna mm -hmm. Das Kaviraj Goswami wrote Chaitanya Chaitamita. At the time he wrote, he was close to around 90 years old. And his eyes were not so good. He was afflicted by, he was almost blind. But he didn't even know how he was going to write Chaitanya Chaitamita. But he depended on the will of the Lord and somehow mm, offering respectful obeisances to the six Goswamis who taught him. Mm, this wonderful account of the pastimes of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Chaitanya, came to being. So the body may do things to us at a later stage of our life. But we still have to do what the body can do in devotional service, but should always remember the Lord and chant his holy name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hmm. Surrender to the Lord utterly. By his grace, you will attain transcendental peace and the supreme and eternal abode. When we surrender to the supreme personality of Godhead, meaning that everything, in other words, you say, oh, dear Krishna, oh, dear Gurudev, I am all for you. If you say it, I will do it. If you instruct, I'll take the instructions. So we guide it that way. And in that way, it is a very, 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 very powerful way to live. When the spiritual master knows that you are a reliable devotee, it can come to you 
when whatever is needed to be done in Christian service mm, comes up, we can depend on you. It is a very wonderful position for the devotee or the disciple to be in. Don't be a third class disciple. Certainly don't be a fourth class disciple. That's even worse. Be either second class disciple and if possible, be a first class disciple. The first class disciple is the one who always obeys his spiritual master. And on top of that, has served the spiritual master to the point that he knows, he or she knows that there are some things the spiritual master expects to get done. And the spiritual master does not have to ask him or her to do it. He will just do it. The spiritual master comes and what needs to be done, what needs to be put in place has been done. That is a first class disciple. Second class disciple may not know. He may not know the guru's mind and things that needs to be done. But whenever the guru instructs that do this or do that, do this, do that, they will do it, not only do it, but do it as a matter of priority. In other words, I'm all for you, Gude, therefore, whatever you instruct, then we do it. And then that way the spiritual master knows that this person is reliable. I can definitely go to him when I need any kind of assistance you know, for your service delivering. Mm-hmm. Very, very, very important. Mm-hmm. Sri Prabhupada praised some of his disciples like that. He trusted them completely. One he said, I know that this disciple will cut his throat for me. And then he said, I will also cut my throat for that disciple. I wonder if you know who that person is. Anyway, but um, you know, he this said that. This was Mother Um, is actually in the male body. <laughs> no, no, Prabhupada said that with Malati Prabhu. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. I okay. mean, it's actually recorded everywhere that he's, he, he actually said that. Um, All right. Well, if yeah. it's Malati Prabhu, then I stand corrected. It's Malati, I know, but a lot of people gave their hearts to him, though. Oh, yes. A lot of people gave their hearts. But at least what I remember, and this has been repeated so many times, that Prabhupada actually said that in front of his um, godbrothers, mm. that he would cut a throat for me and I would cut my throat for her. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. That is the attitude that we have to come to in service mm, to Guru. That is the attitude that we have to come to in service to Guru. So much so, that's the main point, so much so that the Guru will have that much confidence in us. Mm. Anyway, um, and it's not difficult. It's not difficult at all. Some people will say, well, so my Guru Maharaj is not around me and I'm not around him. How would I know and serve him to the point that he would even feel I'm so reliable? It's not that difficult at all. You can ask him. But he's not here. You can pray to his picture, you offer obeisances, and ask to the picture of his spiritual master. The picture is just as potent, and you can get guidance. Therefore, we do not play with the pictures. We have to respect them, put them in a wonderful place at our houses. And of course, in the temple, it would be done that way. Mm-hmm. Most spiritual masters, the parampara, definitely you see them nicely arranged on the altar. So we definitely can get mm, to that point. So we were talking about first, well, I talked about first and second disciple. Mm? The second disciple, the second uh, class disciple does not know the mind of the guru, but whatever the guru says to do, they will do. Mm? The third class disciple, and that's one we have to stay away from, when the spiritual master asks him to do something, he tries to come up with some excuse. Oh, this is happening. Oh, that's happening. And I, I, I don't know that I'll be able to do it or do it right now. And the spiritual master needs it done right away, but comes up with different excuses. And, oh, maybe uh, uh, I'll go talk to a first-class disciple. And first-class disciple, I know they do. So, you know, as soon as I, I tell them, then it's going to get done too that first class disciple, even though the other disciple can do it. In other words, they allow 
the mind to become an enemy of theirs and not serving the spiritual master, not obeying the orders of the spiritual master. And that's only, that's already an offense. The third offense is to disobey the orders of the spiritual master. That includes everything the spiritual master asks. So, um, the fourth class disciple gets initiated by the spiritual master, goes about his business, does not do any service at all, anywhere. They just live their life. It's like they came to get the status of being an initiated devotee. They got that. And now I live my life. And you, Guru, my Guru Maharaj, you live your life. They don't obey anything. That is fourth class. So third class disciple that gives excuses. And fourth class disciple that doesn't do anything at all. Those are not hmm, going to help us in our devotional life. One even if you don't know the mind of the guru and do some things ahead of time, should obey the spiritual master's instructions and orders that they give to do it. And it always should be done as a matter of priority. That is a second class disciple. So we should be at least a second class disciple. Maharaj Yudhisthira was very, very much a first class disciple. Relating to Krishna, as his brothers also related to Krishna, he was such a very balanced person mentally. And he always mm, was showing humility. He was a Kshatriya, but he was definitely showing humility when he needed to. He was obedient to his elders. And even sometimes when things were being turned against him and his brothers, he still tolerated the situation based on the do's and don'ts of the custom. That's why the Trashtra got away with so many things. But every time he tried to do something that was negative, Krishna turned it around. When the kingdom was divided and they were given a barren land kind of cross, Krishna turned it around. He guided the Pandavas. They made, uh, they went there to the Kandapast area. And of course, Arjuna and Bhim complained, we always get, even Nakul and Sade, we're always thinking the same way. We always get a short end of the stick when it comes to um, things like that. But what happened? Krishna reigns for Indra to pour reigns, for Vishwakarma to help with the architecture, and Kandapras became Indraprast. And even, hmm, the Duryodhana wanted to be the king after his father hmm, had to swallow a situation that hurt his pride so much because Yudhisthira became a king when Duryodhana was still a prince. And not only that, Yudhisthira performed the Rajasiya sacrifice on top of that. Hmm? So here was a situation where they had been given a barren land. And Krishna turned it all around and gave more glorification to Yudhisthira and his brothers. So Maharaj Yudhisthira, he had become king in the past. And at that time, Duryodhana was still crown prince. So if we do things in consistency to what Guru and Krishna, Krishna advises and Krishna commands in the Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhavatam, and we obey what Guru says, then actually things get turned around in our favor. Even those things that look like hmm, they are negative towards us, Krishna can turn it around because there's nothing that Krishna can't do. So if we put our hopes, we put our, you know, just our hearts to him and serve him and keep associating with the bodies. Association with the bodies is very powerful because Maya will tempt us. And there's association of the bodies that will help keep us mm, in line. Just like when um, Bhad Maharaj left the kingdom, he was at literally the Baba platform, just one step before Krishna Prema. He was that advanced. 
He left his administration and he went to the forest. But because of his good heart, he saved a baby deer in the water that was in trouble. And the mother had died, so he decided to take care of the deer. That was a very, very benevolent thing to do. Yet, what he did was he grew so fond of the deer that he stopped his regular devotional service plan that he had in the forest and now put his attention fully on the deer. And that was a mistake because he wasn't doing service. He went there to devote full time, leave his administration and devote full time to serve the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And now he turned attention to a deer and didn't let the deer go to the forest when he got a little older and fend for himself, maybe join other deer. He took care of the deer at the expense of service. Now, why do we bring this up? My advice was by himself. If there was somebody there, and right now my eyes preached on it, another person with Bhat Maharaj, he probably would have told Bhat Maharaj, but it looks like you're spending all your time with this deer and the service that you came to do now is being compromised. He could have been warned. So this is the power of association. Power of association one is that we all serve Krishna together. Hmm? Sankirtan is wonderful. Chanting the holy names of the Lord together. But we also get help hmm, through hearing and also through associating with other devotees to stay on that path. So when the times come, hmm, sometimes we'll, times will come when we get challenged. Then we our minds, our minds hmm, can be pulled away from the Maya that we could fall in and therefore be with devotees and get advice from devotees and therefore stay on the right track. This is very, 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 very important. The last part of this mm, is that <clears> Tia <throat> Prabhupada says that the specific words, param, a Brahma Param, indicate Lord Sri Krishna. Mm, that Arjun supported that, corroborated that, that references to great authorities saying that the Supreme Personality of Godhead is all in all. Asita, Devala, Narada, and Vyas had said that Arjun made that reference. And that is in Bhagavad Gita chapter 10, text 13. Now, before then, Krishna made some points that are very, very interest, uh, interesting and very important for us to remember. That he says that he's all spiritual and material world's source. Everything comes from Krishna. And so those who are wise, knowing that everything comes from him, so there's nothing he can't do, they devote their life to him fully and worship him with all their hearts. Aham sava sapa bhava, mata sava pavatate, iti matam bhajantimam, buddha bhava samam vita. And that is for us to remember. The wise, so those who are wise in this earth are perfectly devoted to the Lord. Hmm? Everything that they do is depending on either directly or somehow having a material thing to do. They find a way to dovetail it to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. One way or the other, hmm? they dovetail it to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So when you're doing work, you can take some of the paychecks given to you, some of it, and give it to the Lord. When you get some money you weren't expecting, Large sum of money that's come in, definitely devote some to temple projects. So that way, then you're thinking of service to the Supreme Personality of God. And it's to our advantage. It is definitely to our advantage because the Lord will be pleased with us the more that we serve. Hmm? So the pure devotees, they think about the Lord, they, great, they, they, get, uh, they get great satisfaction from discussing and conversing and enlightening each other about Krishna. This is another thing that we should do. Always when we're talking, bring Krishna, stand our conversation to Krishna. Hmm? 
And he said, those who are like that, he will give the understanding by which they can come to him. So Krishna has given the ways in which we can, if we put our hearts and our minds to serve him, then he sweetens the Krishna consciousness and gives the intelligence by which we can come, hmm, come to him. And he also shows special mercy. The Paramatma would destroy the darkness in our hearts with a shining lamp of knowledge. So we really got it made. Our attention should be focused in Krishna consciousness with zeal, with determination, with enthusiasm, and we learn lessons from the challenges that come, ask for forgiveness, be very, very careful not to offend other devotees, not to make them unhappy, and through that, stop criticizing, stop offending, then slowly, 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 Krishna will open our hearts, and we will be experiencing what's called the internal happiness that comes. And if you're not experiencing it, then you have to watch what you're doing. It could be that there are some places mm, that we're a little lazy about or some places that we are thinking, you know, you know uh, our thinking is offensive and clear that. And then the happiness will come. Hare Krishna. Shira Bhavupad Ki Jai. So Maharaj is heading north, but he's always thinking about Krishna wherever he goes. And that's our lesson. Thank you so much for such a wonderful class, especially at the point that, you know, um, always thinking about the Lord. That was a very nice conclusion. Um, Dear Krishna said, Jay, amazing class. Thank you so much. We'd like to ask you to ask questions. If you have any questions, any comments, any clarification or a doubt, please do raise your hand or you can jump right. Yes, go ahead, Nita Gopal. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Just I was wondering, Prabhuji, is there any Shastra, uh, shastra or uh, Chaitanya Charitam Dutra anywhere reference for Goshtanandi and Bhajnanandi? Um, shloka, shloka or related to this? I have seen it in the Vedas. But um, I can't, I, it's definitely there. I mean, because I read it and that's where I got the uh, um, the definitions for me to really define it definitely from the database. So I'll have to look it up and hopefully. It's part um, of CC, CC or uh, Shlapropa, I mean, uh, well, part of Shlapropa's uh, commentary. Um. In Bhavatam, the purport, purport of, 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 probably, of, yeah, uh, up, yeah. of chapter, of, I mean, uh, Canto 4, chapter 30, text 37, 430, 37. 430, 30, 37. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. And yes, yeah. 430, 30, 37. So, yeah. Sri Prabhupada describes the purport. There are two kinds of Buddhists. One's called the Goshanani, the other one's so then he just describes all of that. But then he also encourages that we should be Christian Andy, traveling around the world, just like now the Muni was wandering universe to universe, that we should travel Correct. around the world. Okay, Correct. so yeah, we will hear more of Canto 4, chapter 30, text 37. Thank right. you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, Prabhu. Nitagopal Prabhu, I just found out there's quite a bit of quotes by Sri Prabhupada in Bhagavatam, Canto 4, um, Canto 7, Adi Lila, Madhya Lila. <laughs> I see. Uh, uh, in Lila. the CC text you. <laughs> yeah, I can text you the link, you know? Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah that uh, be. Um, Prabhupada has used the word Bhajanandi and describing Bhajanandi, but there's a discussion between Prabhupada and Shamasundar about uh, Bajanandi and Goshtanandi. So I I will send you the link. It's it's a morning walk, but there's quite a bit of quotes of Bajanandi. I'm trying to find something in Goshtanandi, but there's a lot of quotes. Yes. Perfect. perfect. I'll send you yeah. that the link, Prabhu. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. But in no in simple words, Bajanandi is a, a person who is 
like um, Bad Maharaj, what he intended to do, to be in one place and then, you know, we try to the forest. And Kostanandi is a, a devotee that travels around <clears throat> everywhere, just like the way this kind is. And they preach like that. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. So. Thank you, Prabhu. See. Very nice question. Um, yes, Srinivas Prabhu, please go ahead. Uh, Hare Krishna, Prabhu Jain Mataji, Danvat Pranams. Hare Krishna. Jai. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the classes. It is so wonderful. And I, mm -hmm. yeah, I, uh, regarding the incident on cutting the throat, I heard it from Malati Mataji in New Vrindavan a couple of times, how she was so happy to hear how Prabhupada liked her. You know, it happened during the incident in India, I believe, when I was going through Prabhupada's book and her quotation. Um, okay. And my question is, Mar uh, Prabhu Prabhuji, you yeah. explained the different, uh, different levels of devotees, uh, disciples, right? Disciples, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, my question, I just want to ask in a humble way, you know, not, I'm, I'm not thinking, you know, I just want to get myself clarified. Um, yeah. And nowadays, the spiritual masters, right, they have thousands and thousands of disciples and they're so busy, rightfully so, to spread the Krishna conscious movement, to spread the message of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you know, they build temples and, you know, they, they go all around the world. But, you know, sometimes the new di disciples, you know, you know, you know they, they could not, you know, have one-on-one -on -one conversation or instructions from them. You know, in that case, you know, how do we go about? The spiritual, it's a very good question. Very good question. Thanks for bringing it up. The spiritual master has a lot of disciples. Some, a few don't have a lot of disciples, but many of them have a lot of disciples. And as you said, it's not going to be possible for all the disciples to get one-on-one -on -one instructions directly from the Guru. But remember, the Guru preaches, and in his preaching are words of wisdom. And sometimes there are times that the spiritual master would have a session with his disciples, which is the, we call it the darshan. Okay. And in those times, the spiritual master may give specific instructions to some devotees or general instructions overall. The general instructions should be taken to heart by every single devotee, whether the person is new or the person has been there for a while. Mm -hmm. So no, it's not every time that the you know, a disciple gets direct instructions from a spiritual master, because as you said, you know, you'll we'll meet um, not not spiritual masters are different places, and sometimes you will not be able to see him much. Mm -hmm. The instructions are given to senior disciples, those who are close to the guru. They can spread that. That's one way, and you listen that uh, Guru Maharaj said this, 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 then you follow that, that's one way. And I know I brought another point up and it's it's a question of trying it. Mm -hmm. If you try it, then you will know it's there. And that is to how for obeisance to the picture of a spiritual master and ask for instruction that way. The pictures are very, 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 very important. I could tell a story about it. If you have some time, maybe take a couple of minutes and, and talk about the story there was uh, and this involves me. One time I wrote a letter of complaint about one of our disciples, uh, the Magumai's uh, disciple, and because I was quite dissatisfied. And I was also new at the time and I didn't really know the protocol so well. But my um discussed the letter with me and with her and with our uh, sp spouses also, and just simply said in some part of the letter, I know what I'm doing. Okay, so because some things that the, the suggestions, which obviously you don't do to Guru, but at that time I was new. So he said, I know what I'm doing, and that was the end of that. Now, uh, after my Guru Maharaj left his body, I went to um to my god brother's house. And in our conversation, we also shared things in confidence. He was saying that he also had some issues with that same devotee, uh Mataji, and of course Guru Maharaj was not there. He went to my Guma Aj's picture and offered the basis and poured his heart out to our Guma Aj, to the picture. And without knowing the instruction or the comment that my Guma Aj had given to me when he was alive and I went to see him, my godbrother also said that 
Boom, my eyes told him, I know what I'm doing. Same response. Same response from him praying to the picture of his guru, of our guru. Mm -hmm. So if you pour your heart out and you understand the potency is there, you definitely can get some instructions. Um, and that was a big lesson for me to learn also. Mm -hmm. So many, many times we go to we just see Prabhupada's Murti, we go to see Prabhupada's picture, the Guru Maharaj's picture. If you're not initiated, see Prabhupada's. Even if you're initiated, you still can go to see, to see Prabhupada's spiritual grandfather if you're not a see Prabhupada's disciple and still pray and get instructions from the spiritual master that way. So you're never out of touch, even if you're a new devotee. Hare Krishna. Very nice. Thank you very much, Prabhuji. I was just, uh, it is so amazing, your response. Thank you. Krishna's mercy, Guru's mercy. Thank you. If I can also add uh, one point oh, that came to my mind is that, and very nice question, Srinivas Prabhu, thank you for asking, because I've, I've actually heard and have received such questions from many devotees, you know, so I can completely uh, relate to your question. So thank you for asking that. I think another uh, point that's coming to my mind is that, you know, Sadhu Sangha always helps, especially when we associate with uh, God brothers and God sisters of the, of our God family to really uh, help them, to, to really ask them to help us to understand more of our spiritual master's uh, preaching mood, what would please him, you know, so and so forth, and actually um, serve under their guidance, uh, which involves Sadhu Sangha. I think that also helps a lot. Um, because, you know, like I, I, I know in my God family, like right after my spiritual master left the planet, there are a few devotees who got very recently initiated right before he left. And after he left, it, they were on shaky grounds. Some of them, unfortunately, did not reach out for help. So they kind of, quote unquote, blooped, as we say. Some of them stayed the process and they're still under the guidance of the seniors. So I think that really helps that we do not leave and hang on to the transcendental boat, as we have heard from Sri Prabhupada, you know, stay on the transcendental boat and not leave the association. And then uh, that also helps, you know, that's what's coming to my mind, Prabhu. Mm. Thank you very much for adding that. Too. Yeah, thank you very much, Mataji. Um, Dear Krishna had a, a post, I just saw that. Uh, how do, Hare Krishna Prabhupada, thank you for the wonderful class. Question is, how to understand that a bona fide spiritual master is representing the whole Guru Parampara for us, and he's not just a separate entity. He always asks amazing questions there, Krishna. I love it. <laughs> he always has the perfect question. I love it. Guru is a couple of ways to look at it. Guru is the deliverer of the message from Krishna. He's a representative of Krishna. Mm -hmm. The message of Krishna is the same in the Shastra. Guru may interpret it, you know, that is the way you, they will be presented would be an individual kind of style, that's them. But the bottom line is the same thing that Krishna has said. Therefore, Guru, hmm, the spiritual master, as you said, how to understand that the bona fide spiritual master is representing the whole group, uh, Prampara, for it's not a separate entity. We've got to know that Krishna speaks to all of them. It's like one big tree of so many branches and so many leaves. Hmm? And all the branches are spiritual master, they all belong to the same tree. And the leaves are the disciples. Hmm? Of, of that uh, of the branches so they're connected but the tree is one and the tree is called Lord Balaram or Lord Nityananda the original guru so whatever that the spiritual master the bona fide spiritual master even if it's not the one that has initiated us therefore he's called a shiksha guru we thrive in Krishna consciousness by instruction it is very important to understand that point. We thrive by instruction. If you look at the 10 offenses, in other words, it says, the third offense is to disobey the orders of the spiritual master. It didn't say disobey the orders of your spiritual master. It just said disobey the orders of 
the spiritual matters, all of them, all of them carry the message of Krishna. And Krishna uses all of them to teach us in various ways how to improve. There's always room for improvement for us conditioned souls, improve our Krishna consciousness. Therefore, one should not only listen to their guru only and say, oh, okay, what guru has initiated me, therefore he knows what is good for me. The others did not initiate me, therefore, mm, no. My Guru Maharaj, uh, Bhakti Jaira Maharaj, made it a point to tell his disciples, listen to other gurus' lectures, listen to other gurus' advice. He made it a point for, so that everybody that was kind of attached to him based on the body would realize that the instructions come from all spiritual masters. And so we have to take advantage of that situation. Actually, we're fortunate that we can get instructions from all spiritual masters and guidance from all spiritual masters. It should be a point of happiness for all of them, from, for all of us, that they are there to guide us that way. So we should never be into a guru groupism thing, the my guru, your guru. And I've been to one particular dam, I won't mention it, but here in the United States, and this was 1998, I was there. And it didn't take long to find out that there were some people who liked this guru and did not like this guru. And, this. and you know what the result was? The dam was fragmented quite a bit. It was really, really fragmented. People are now, it became, Maya just took over. And then they had little pockets of groups hmm, that are responsible here. And, and, and they, 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 they have their thoughts here and they have their thoughts. So much so that it even affected some of the Bhavatam classes. The question is time. It's pretty bad. That's why I won't name the dam itself. I know, and, and she knows too. Hmm? So we are all one. We are all one. And therefore, we're all one in terms of we are Krishna's devotees. Fortunate enough to turn our minds to Krishna and are not living the life that non devotees are living. Spiritual Master is there for all of us. Just approach the spiritual master. It didn't say just approach your spiritual master and inquire from him. The spiritual master, generalized. Therefore, all bona fide spiritual masters are, hmm, they have their, um, they have the welfare of all the disciples at heart. So you can definitely get, you know, like that, help from all of them, from all of them. Hare Krishna. Dang. Also, another thing that's coming to my mind there, Krishna, mm -hmm. is that, you know, it is actually said in the Shastra, and Prabhupada has mentioned it, you know, that it's important that we, quote unquote, uh, check out the spiritual master, you know, uh, test the spiritual master. And the system that we were taught is the check and balance system, Guru Sadhu Shastra. Mm. So if we, and, and I remember this very clearly, because I remember when I was, aspiring for my spiritual master and uh, we were in the bhakta bhakti training class pre now they call it you know idc you know as kind of cross those days it was called bhakta bhakti training and i remember in that class you know my uh my my spiritual master used the phrase guru sadhu shastra and we have to use mm -hmm. these three to really uh check out lack of a better word the spiritual master that he's really representing the whole Guru Parampara system and, you know, as it is and not a separate entity. So that also involves, that is one way to um, really uh, learn and understand uh, by using the Guru, the Sadhu and the Shastra to see if they're all balancing out. So that's one thing that was coming to my mind that always stayed with me, you know, um, that mm -hmm. um, how to know that, you know, we have that, that it's, it's like we have a system in place we just got to use it. You know, the, the system is that it was given by Prabhupada and given by the by our gurus. And then we have, and, you know, the previous Acharyas, you know, and from yesterday's class by Vishigada Prabhu, you know, the, the whole Sampradaya, it, it's, it's, it hits there, it's clear. We just got to do our work and research and find. So I just wanted to add that point. I'm sorry. Thank you very much for, for adding it. Yeah, that's the bona fide guru. Mm -hmm lives lives according and acts according to what mm, are the sadhus 
bona fide sadhus live in the Shastra dictates. We will see consistency there. And that way you can always be you know, uh, assured of it. But this kind of also is, is, is a society that actually monitors activities all around. We don't talk about it so much, but all activities are actually monitored for the leaders. So then we get to know, you know uh, situations that are happening and how to deal with it. Maya is always looking for an avenue, but the society is blessed by Lord Chaitanya. And if we follow the teachings of Srila Prabhupada, then all of us will be fine. Hare Krishna. Yeah. Thank you. Very, very nice questions, actually. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Any other questions before? It's it's really nice that we are able to go past nine o'clock. That really shows that, mm -hmm. you know, we're really getting into the glories of Bhagavatam and we're really associating with Krishna's words and with Prophet's purports and we're really, you know, uh, scrutinizingly uh, getting into the philosophy, you know, that Prabhupada has given us. And we are, as Prabhupada said, when we study Bhagavatam, we are actually associating with the Lord. So it's really nice that we're getting into it. And I'm glad that we are able to go a little bit past nine o'clock. So that's really nice. It's very, very sweet <laughs> and wonderful questions too. Um, if there are no other questions, we thank you all so much for joining us. And we thank you for the amazing, wonderful questions. And it's so nice to get questions where we can ask without being judged. And I think that's the most important point, that we're all on this path. We're all struggling. We're all learning. We're all holding each other's hands. And we can so nicely ask and feel like, you know, I can ask this because I'm so comfortable and get the right answer. So thank you so much to all of you for helping me to learn from all your questions and helping me to really uh, benefit from your questions and answers. Uh, thank you all for joining us. Have a wonderful day, devotees. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Jai. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.